Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless each and every one of us for joining for in Jesus' name. In today's prophetic word title says, This is about the money one of your family member is sitting on right now. I take this title again. This is about your money. The money, your money, that one of your family member is sitting on now in the name of Jesus. And the reason why God laid this word in me is because there is someone that you have been praying and asking God for this particular day to come. And this prophetic word is coming today, praise Master Jesus, to open every closed door in the name of Jesus. If this is your first time, do not miss. Watch this word from the beginning to the end. I will bless in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is Prophetic Blessings. My name is Basil. If you have not yet subscribed, you are the only one remaining. Please do it to subscribe to become part of my friend, my prayer partner, so that together, whenever I'm live, you will be notified. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At the place of prayers, I saw money being distributed to people. And I saw people, another person managing their own money well. And I saw another people just rising up against the other. Praise Master Jesus because of lack of mismanagement in the mighty name of Jesus. And the, when the Lord gave me this scripture, this particular vision, and this scripture came up, hallelujah, Jesus was speaking a parable saying, the kingdom of God is like a master that was about to travel in the far land. And the master called his servant and gave to some one talent to some two and to some five. I call every man according to their ability. So the master knew that this man of one has the capacity to multiply one. This man of two, two has the capacity to multiply two. The man of five has the capacity to multiply five. But in the other way, the Bible says the man of five multiplied to ten. The man of two multiplied to four. And the man of one, they were expecting him to multiply from one to two. But when this man went on his returning, he knew this. He, then he now asks for the talent. The man of five brought ten. The man of two brought four. And the man of one brought back the one. He said, no, I had to bury the money. This is the money what you give me. So when we look at such a people, these are people that don't want to work. The moment you have a lazy mindset, automatically laziness is, 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 is a demonic spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Laziness is a demonic spirit. If you're watching me and you know that you have what we call the spirit of laziness, you must fight against it. We have laziness, we, we have fear. Most of the time, people have money, they are afraid to invest. Fear and laziness. Some people have talent and things to do that can bless them, but they are afraid. Praise Master Jesus. So, all these two people brought the multiplication of their talent, the man of one came and said, I bury the money. Such people are lazy people, one gossiper, people that spend their time in gossiping. I'm sure the man of one will bury his own and be saying, how can my master give me only one? And he gave John five. Maybe that's why John is prospering, not knowing that he needed multiplication. Why didn't you multiply your own one? Such people must always be in our family. And these people are to fight the group of those that are going ahead. The Bible says a man's enemy is his own members of his own household. So there are a lot of things, a lot of battle that we are going on. We are causing the devil from outside. Meanwhile, the devil himself is living in the house. So I'm led by the Spirit of God today to speak this word into the life of somebody, wherever you're watching or connecting, in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, this is you concerning your money that someone in your family is sitting on. So the reason why I brought this scripture is, is for us to know the mindset of these lazy people. So I saw someone her press master, that is very lazy and you gave money to this particular person thinking that you are helping this person but this particular person used this money against you, placed this money in an altar. So hallelujah. I saw this, this person placing money somewhere and placing something on top. As long as that thing sits on that money, no matter what you do, your life will never excel. So the moment I heard 
the moment God showed me this prophetic word, I began to pray. I was shedding tears. I was telling God, why would such a thing happen in this world whereby you're giving something to someone as her? You're just helping them, but they will use it in the opposite. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says, who speaketh forth the word and it come to pass if our God has not spoken. You must know your God. You must know your God. You must know your God, the God that has the final says. Who will speak it for? The Lord says, this word has been a limitation. Their word has been a limitation to you because God has been preparing for this day. And wheresoever you're watching or connecting, I bring you the word of God. And the Lord says today that your money is free in the name of Jesus. The Lord said today, he is setting your money free. I want us to pray. I want us to pray and I'm going to pray with you. In the name of Jesus, make sure you type it at the comment section. Say, Lord, anyone sitting on my money, anyone sitting on my money, type it at the comment section. Say, Lord, anyone sitting on my money, go down by fire. Anyone sitting on my money, go, by, go down by fire in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this prophetic word. Thank you, Lord. And the prophetic word says, our money. Who is sitting in our money? Who bury our money? Who has spoken a word of our money? We stand as a church and we declare and we decree that in any altar or shrine, wherever they place our money, we stand at it as a church and we speak this word that our money is released in the name of Jesus. By error, they touch us. By correction, they go down in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for this amazing word, for in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, family. Thank you for always watching our prophetic word. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for always being there. May the good Lord bless you, people of God, for in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.